1-800-767-8866. Saudi Arabia is targeting a tenfold increase in international airline passengers transiting the kingdom by the end of the decade as it looks to triple annual passenger traffic, an official told Reuters. This is a cool story. The aviation um, space in Saudi Arabia is blowing up. They really, and part of this was the Vision 2030 kind of goal of positioning Saudi Arabia as East meets West, the, a natural pivot point. Obviously, Dubai and Abu Dhabi and Doha are big hubs for Westerners traveling East and vice versa. Saudi Arabia is looking to compete with them and sort of you know increase its presence on the global stage as a place to fly to, place to uh, fly through. Um, as you know, Richard, they're putting a lot of work into potentially a new airline that might be launched, as well as a refurbishment of Riyadh's airport. Uh, a lot of, lot going on here. You know, we need to have an economist on to talk about what is the nature of the Saudi economy? Because these first two yellows, and we'll get to the second one, speak to what they're doing. So let's say the government wants to direct international flights to rise from 200 to 250 from 99 currently. Uh, also want to increase air cargo volumes to 4.5 million by 2030 from 900,000 tons in 2019. Uh, targeting passenger traffic of 300 million, 330 million a year. <clears throat> so and, and by the way, just as an overview, the total air traffic in, in the Middle East rose 215% in February 22 compared to the February year on year, February 2021. So it, it's growing. And, and on a global scale, it was 115%. So the mean of traffic was actually larger, you know, uh, in, in terms of growth. But this uh, airport hub strategy calls for $133 billion in investment. Here's my point. It's not a it's not a pure market economy. This is a mixed economy. Saudi Arabia and and the government is leaning in big time and basically making markets. You know that 133 billion. A lot of that's going to come from from government coffers. You know they're going to try and get foreign direct investment, but they're trying to make a market and they're doing it in you know in tourism, transportation, entertainment, elsewhere, mega projects. Um, and it's just fascinating because it seems like they're gaining traction in a lot of areas. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> I guess you, know, you, you make a market, it's a loss leader, it's got to be. And eventually you hope you develop a market, but that's different from sitting around and watch that, you know, and waiting for a market to evolve organically, you know, based on supply and demand and prices and that sort of thing, which Saudi Arabia doesn't have the time to do. Mm -hmm. So it's going out and essentially catalyzing markets with these investments. And you know, this is why PAF is, PIF is involved in everything. Um, presumably this all gets into the private sector hands eventually. Uh, but I just think it's fascinating that they, they, they're setting these targets and they're making real headway toward these targets. Uh, and we know these targets are, are enormous in terms of this ambition, uh, but the, you know, the, certainly in the tourism sector, they're seeing real progress and our entertainment sector is just blowing up. Uh, transportation and elsewhere. But anyway, it, it, uh, like I said, I'd love to get somebody who really knows what they're talking about as an economist to come and say, all right, this is what Saudi Arabia is doing. And it's sim similar to this country or that country or this country. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And it's funny that the article says, uh, quotes Mohammed al Qureshi, the head of um, strategy at the GACA, General Authority of Civil Aviation. He says, quote, we are not after the transit market. So maybe just forget about what I said about them hoping to capture that. But um, that, that's just a, like a really great point, Richard, about the economics behind this, that they don't have time to wait around and hope that this thing kind of generates naturally. They're looking to jumpstart it like they do with many other things. So um, yeah. $133 billion is a lot of money, even for Saudi Arabia. So yeah. um, there's a serious commitment there.